The presidential election is four weeks from today. The latest poll numbers suggest Donald Trump has a mountain to climb. Hillary Clinton leads Trump by 11 points, 46 to 35 percent, when third-party candidates are included. The poll was taken after the release of video of Trump making vulgar comments about women. The same poll gave Clinton a six-point lead last month. Trump campaigned yesterday across the battleground state of Pennsylvania, claiming victory in Sunday's debate. Major Garrett is here with the Republican nominee's new urgency. Major, good morning. Good morning. Donald Trump did what politicians do when they are in a real tight jam. Ignore bad poll numbers, and if you can, look for a cute kid in the crowd and then a cameraman. Trump, who generally can't stop talking about those host horse race poll numbers, well, he couldn't find one to mention yesterday. <laughs> Donald Trump careened from lighthearted campaign shtick. Do you want to go back to them or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. To cliched confrontation. Oh, she's crooked, folks. She's crooked as a $3 bill. As he always does, Trump declared himself the victor at Sunday's debate. I was getting beaten up for 72 hours on all the networks. Trump treaded lightly around his vulgar and sexist comments about women in 2005 and redirected the controversy in former President Bill Clinton's direction. Bill Clinton sexually assaulted innocent women and Hillary Clinton attacked those women viciously. In the video that continues to rock the campaign, Trump laughs about trying to seduce entertainment reporter Nancy O'Dell. I moved on her like a bitch, but I couldn't get there, and she was married. Last night, Odell broke her silence about Trump. There is no room for objectification of women, or anyone for that matter, not even in the locker room. A recent poll found more than half of registered voters believe Trump's comments should be an issue in the campaign. Over a third said they disqualify Trump from the presidency. Running mate Mike Pence said on Saturday Trump's remarks, quote, offended him and declined for two days to publicly defend Trump. After the debate, Pence climbed back on board. He fought back and turned the focus to the choice that we face, and I'm proud to stand with Donald Trump. Now, rumors have been swirling that more outtakes from Trump's hit show, The Apprentice, could be released, causing still more trouble for Trump. And in a statement yesterday, Mark Burnett, the show's producer, said legally the media company is restricted from releasing any such material. Gail? And with those but, ways, always, those tapes always seem to find the light of day, even with all the legal to. restrictions. Mm -hmm. What yes. are you going to say, Nora? Yeah, I was going to say exactly what you're saying. Even if he's restricted, somebody may leak those tapes. Yeah. Right, somebody who doesn't feel so restricted yeah. That's might right. do something. That's right. Thank you, Major.